All right, so by default, if you're recording on macOS with OBS, you're not gonna be able to record your desktop audio. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how to very quickly set up desktop audio recording with OBS on Mac. And as you can see right here, I'm kind of recording OBS while I'm using it. So it's kind of gonna be looking a little bit weird for a second, but hopefully it's not too distracting. But as you can see right here, we have this desktop audio. Now, typically you're not gonna have this. You're probably gonna only see your mic recording at the start but i'm going to show you how we can add this desktop audio so that way when i play audio you're going to actually be able to hear it through obs so the first thing we're going to need to do is install a audio plugin called black hole and you can get that at extension.audio slash black hole i'll have a link for that in the description down below and basically all you have to do is enter your email and you can put whatever first name last name it doesn't really matter i, I just put you know whatever in the form here, but basically you need to do that to get the download link. But once you do download it, you're gonna get two options. And those two options are, you're gonna have a two channel or a 16 channel. I'm gonna be using the two channel here. So go ahead and download the two channel one if you want, or you can download the 16 channel. And then you're gonna wanna come back to your desktop here. And you're gonna wanna open up your spotlight here and type in audio MIDI setup. It's gonna open up the audio MIDI setup application. All right, so once you open up your audio MIDI setup application, after you have already installed Black Hole, you should see Black Hole 2 channel right here. And we don't really need to mess around with any of these settings here, but basically the main objective that we need to do is create this right here, which is audio for OBS. You won't have this, but I'm gonna show you how to create this. So let's go ahead and click this little plus icon at the bottom left here called create device. And we're gonna create a multi output device. So what you're gonna notice is now we have this new tab here that called multi output device. And we can rename this to whatever we want. You could say audio, for OBS like I already have previously so maybe we just say OBS audio for tutorial now once you've created this you're gonna want to check black hole 2 channel and you're also going to want to check your headset so for me I have my headset plugged into my Yeti microphone so I'm gonna go ahead and select Yeti Nano as another audio device so whatever headset you're using, you just want to make sure that you're checking the name of the headset as well. And that's actually all we need to do to create our multi-channel output. Now, when we go back to OBS, all we have to do is go to our settings right here, go to audio and under global audio devices, we're going to want to make sure that black hole two channel is selected. So if yours is set to default or disabled, just go ahead and make sure black hole two channel is selected and hit okay. And now once you have done that, you should see a desktop audio option right here. And if you click on the properties, we should see black hole two channel like so. All right, and one last thing you're gonna need to do is go to your system preferences. You're gonna wanna click on sound. You're gonna wanna come to the output tab and you're gonna wanna make sure that your audio multi output device that you just created is selected and now if we play some audio let me bring up spotify here so right here i have some copyright free music because i don't want my channel to get striked and we're gonna go ahead and try and play a song and see if obs picks it up as you can see now we can get desktop audio through our microphone and of course we can adjust the volume as much as we want we could have it low or we can have it a little bit higher but I'm going to bring it down a lot because it's a little bit loud. Uh, but this is how we record desktop audio on Mac with OBS.